Welcome back, Falmo Fishing. Um, today I got a nice surprise, a little posted in the mail that came. So uh, I thought I'd drop in this little video. It's February the 7th. Um, I hope all of you have checked out my last video and are entered in the contest to win the November throwback Angler's Hall Pro Box. But that's not what this, uh, this video is about. Um, as everybody knows who, uh, who watches the show, I do the Angler's Hall uh, Advanced Unboxings. I do Mystery Tackle Box Elite ad uh, Edition Unboxings. And I also started doing the Rush Tackle Box Unboxings. A little bit of clarification. Uh, when I first started with Rush Tackle Box, I heard it through a friend. Um, and he sent me over uh, you know, a clickable link. And I linked up and I, I started uh, the format for the Rush Tackle. When I went through the promotions, um, there's a bunch of things like pop-ups that you can click through when you're a first subscriber. A lot of these are like are deals for uh, going from the standard and then you can upgrade and it says would you like to upgrade to the next level would you like to upgrade to the third level I was under the assumption like mystery tackle box that they had tier systems they don't they don't they have a single box set monthly subscription at, at the current at the current status <clears throat> status in the future who knows they might start doing tier levels uh, but as it stands they have one tier and uh, and uh, this company is a United States based company uh, I was mistaken. I thought it was a Canadian company because it was a Canadian friend who sent me the link. <laughs> so I thought he was he was pushing me onto a company that was Canadian based, but it's not. It's an American based company. My boxes come out of uh, the the um, Niagara Falls, New York area, so everything in the package is based on U.S. dollar denominations. If you do get Rush Tackle in Canada, you'll have to do that uh, currency exchange and figure out what the price differences are. Um, that being said. I did contact Rush Tackle. Um, when I ordered my last video, my Rush Tackle uh, first um, unboxing, I started the program mid-month. Uh, actually, literally the day after they start charging for the next month's box. The good thing about Rush Tackle, they take their, their funding for, say, February example, uh, boxes, they'll take that during January. So in January, you'll be charged for your February box, and then you'll get your box on February early, like the first week of February, unlike Mystery Tackle Box, uh, Monster Bass, and all these others, where they wait till the first of the month, charge you for that month, and then you get the box the 17th, 18th, 20th of the month. Um, so the logistics behind it is awesome. It's a good idea. If I get charged month previous, for the box coming up. I can cancel and or skip that month, I mean, theoretically, but, uh, but the good thing is, I know that I'm gonna get my baits for February early enough in February that it is fruitful in my fishing. Rewind back a little bit to what I said about the tier system and my misinterpretation. So during that fill out form, that uh, you know, clicking through the uh, would you like, and I wanted to go bare bones, just get the bottom of the range, I did get a Neko uh, as a $5 add-on when you click through. Um, but I purchased during that, that promo uh, the box for just the cost of shipping. I wanted to basically just wet my toes and figure out what they did offer. I was actually pleasantly surprised. That said, it caused me to miss out on all of those potential promos. Well, when I had... Uh, gone back and forth on uh, the Instagram and the Twitter and everything and got in contact with a representative from Rush Tackle, they informed me that what I had said on the video about the tier level system wasn't true and that it was a single tier and that those were one-time only purchases. However, they graced me with two things, two pieces of vital information. Obviously, it's part of my bank account, but nevertheless. Um, informing me about the mid-month withdrawal for the next month's box and that I had been cut off literally a day before otherwise they would have charged me um, you know for February's box but I just paid for the first January you know box they gave me the option and I corresponded that yes charge me for the February box rush it out so that I've gotten my February rush tackle box I kinda gave it away that there's two here my <laughs> rush tackle box um, in the February month, and then of course, the end of February, I'll be charged for my March box and March will come. Um, so I basically doubled up on my payments. I paid for my January, and then three days later, it was withdrawn for my February, and they rushed out, uh, you know, basically three day uh, express mail 
uh, they got me my February box so that I'm kind of in tune with the rest of the people getting their boxes for their February Rush Tackle. He also allowed me a great, great uh, bonus, and he said, look, if you like, I will put together that mega box, which is typically it's a prize pack where they stuff a box with extra components, and um, that's a rarity. It's something that they gave as a one-time option when you first log in, and I'll leave the link to Rush Tackle in the description of the video, so if you choose, you can go over there and get that first box, and maybe, I think maybe that promo is still running, um, or you could potentially get the box for just the price of, um, of shipping. If not, they're probably going to have a lot of the promos where you can go and uh, click your way up by, uh, instead of stopping at this at the nine dollar tier you know you'll spend a little extra money but you'll go to the um the uh, limited edition and then if you ignore that and click up you can go to the mega box where i think it's around 45 dollars or so uh, but it's got an 86 dollar value roughly i believe don't quote me on that i'll leave the proper information below um but i believe it was 85 or, or so dollars in value when you pay for the uh 49 45 dollar um uh, mega box one-time only purchase and basically they'll just ship you out a box with extra stuff in included that being said I went for it and uh, and I paid the extra money and I got obviously he, he charged me for the February so I, I and it was expedited to me so I got the February box and he gave me uh, the mega box and I paid for that as well as if I was clicking on that one-time only subscription uh, bonus so I was lucky enough to get two boxes uh, delivered to my door today. With that said, let's um, let's bust into these. As I get a razor blade. Hopefully, I don't cut my finger. Oh come on! Don't. Be... Yeah, there we go. So uh, these are all basically were taped together. Cut the, the lids and saved on the packing to uh, to cut the boxes. Tape them together. So let's see. We'll take the one on the top here. What's this one? All right. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna note this as the last one. I'm gonna do the, this other one first because that one does not have a card in it, and I'm under the premise that uh, there should be a what's in. All right. Here we go. Yeah. So Rush Tackle. Rush Tackle is a subscription plan, just like Mystery Tackle um, or Bait Crate or any of the other subscription boxes. You'll get a box every month. Um, with a whole bunch of baits. Um, Rush Tackle only has one style. It's basically a, a multi-species, but primarily pretty much a bass uh, bass box. But I'm sure you'll have panfish stuff in there. They always come with the old-fashioned, like the Mystery Tackle box, used to have the little booklet. Um, they have that with Rush Tackle, with the Rush Tackle box book. The what's inside is on the back of the booklet, listing all the products and their prices. Of course, there's contests like always. Uh, snap a picture, post it with the hashtags Rush Tackle Box or the hashtag RTB, and you could win a monthly chance for a mega box, which is um, roughly estimated in what I'm going to show you after this quick little snippet. In this month's box, we have uh, six lures. It's a total value of $46.94. So this is a basically a $10 or a, excuse me, a $20 purchase, and um, it's going, it gives you a double your money basic uh, uh, value. As with these Tackle Box subscriptions, they include stickers. We got one here that's just, uh, that's actually a pretty cool sticker. Focus in there. Um, nice little all blue. I like that. And then you got one over here. This is a real cool papal. Real cool papal. So. That's a cool little sp sticker. Smaller decals than a lot of the other uh, the other box things, but hey, stickers are stickers. I'm not in it really for the stickers. I'm in it for the baits and the tackle. Uh, they do come similar to um, you know a lot of the others. They come with this wax paper. So we're gonna open this up. Our first bait. Um, we'll start on the top. Twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. It's a hardcore baits company, Shad Crank. So we go in here. So this is from Duel. Again, we got some Duel uh, baits in the uh, Mystery Tackle Box. Um, Duel Hardcore. And this is their Shad Crank Plus One. 
It's a floating crank, 65 millimeters or 2 and 5 eighths inches. It's a quarter ounce. It has, let's see, casting distance, weight distribution. So it's got that, that weight distribution where the, the two BBs will slide to the tail end on cast and they'll retrieve back to the nose so it'll nose down in the cranking position. Um, again, this is a, this is a, a JDM product. Uh, so there's a lot of Japanese writing on it that I cannot understand. <laughs> that said, uh, let's see. So we know it's quarter ounce. We know its depth is from um, 1.6 to 3.3 feet. So one and a half to three feet range. Uh, number six hooks and a number two uh, ring, split rings. Which is nice to know that they, that they equate both the, the hook size and the split ring, which gives you an adequate understanding of what kind of line you're going to want to run on this and uh, what the potential of a break-off is going to be. Now, this has got one of those really cool... Um, I haven't seen a lot of these, these bills, but I have come across them once or twice in the past, and I do kind of like them. It's, it's basically a, like a cloverleaf bill, I like to think of it. They wire tie their, their hooks together. But uh, you'll see here, it's basically, or a spade, like the, like the head of a spade. It's this oblong-shaped bill. So it's a shallow diver, but instead of sacrificing and just making it short and then stubby, uh, or going with a square bill with a slight plow, this one is wide to catch the same you know, volume of water, and then they can shrink down the, the distance from the nose to the end and still have that same plowing um, displacement that's going to cause that, that dive but not extend past that, you know. Obviously on lighter line, uh, lighter tackle, you could probably jerk this maybe five feet, maybe five and a half, um, if you really, really wanted to do it. Uh, hardcore Shad Crank plus one, and it's a 65F, they call it. The, the color on this, see that they list a color? Baby Bluegill, Baby Bluegill. So, there you go. Hooks, uh, not bad hooks. I wouldn't say they're the sharpest in the world, for sure. But uh, they're a smaller hook, so they shouldn't be hard penetrating the side of the lip of a bass. It's a small profile. Probably catch some uh, some decent sized smallmouth with this too. Uh, shortly coming up. All right, we'll set this. We'll set this somewhere where I'm not going to end up getting it caught in the carpet. Next up, uh, for $8.99 from Lunker Hunt. There's two Lunker Hunt products in this box. We have a Lunker Hunt. Premium Fishing Lure Compact Frog. So you got your, you know, top water, soft belly, Lunker Hunt Frog. This is their Compact Frog, which is a slightly smaller profile. It's got a narrower hook set. Uh, it doesn't have the really wide frog hooks. Um, I like them. I love, I love Lunker Hunt's products, especially their frogs when it comes to the, the patterns on the back that catch us. And they've got nice white. I will say... One of the great things you can do with a frog, specifically a white belly frog, a solid, straight white belly frog, you can always get yourself um, either the Spike It's spray or the Spike It's dip it and a cotton swab, and you can add yourself in a little dollop of chartreuse or red. Um, it also has that garlic scent to it. But uh, I like to keep, in my worm case, I like to keep Spike It's um, dip it, the, uh, uh, the, the chartreuse garlic, and I keep a pile of cotton swabs, just regular cotton swabs like you'd use to clean out the, the inside of your ear. And I dip the cotton swab in, and I can actually use it like a mini paintbrush, a disposable paintbrush, to paint lines or dots or what have you of the chartreuse um, on like worms or white baits or, or what have you, just to add flash flare color um, to, to actually get fish to, uh, to commit. That said, I always do like when the the legs on the frog are, are pretty short. I think these are actually a little bit long for my taste um, for this for any profile frog. I like to basically cut the legs or these trailing flares at the shoulder or the hip of what the profile of the frog is. So for me, I would have trimmed these down to about there. Okay? Instead of having it run all the way to here, I would have trimmed it off roughly at the mid, at the, at the shoulder of the embossed leg. And I assume that's a little bit better to me uh, for distance, that you're not going to get short strikes if you have a trailer that's only that long as opposed to a trailer 
that adds that extra, you know, half an inch to an inch. But that's just me. To each their own. Some people just like to fish them straight out of the box, and they still will catch fish straight out the box. All right, so that's the Lunker Hunt Compact Frog, $8.99. Next is the Adrenaline Bug by Exozone. Exozone. Oh, this is interesting. All right, so what's it got? Black, blue? Black, blue flake. Four inch adrenaline bug, blah, adrenaline bug, soft plastics. So this is your basic, uh, you know, crawfish, crawfish bug. In that black blue, perfect for dark, stinged, stained, muddy water. You're gonna get come early spring. You got, you know, storms come through. April showers, May flowers. You're gonna have muddy water. Awesome. Uh, has a it has your typical plastic scent with a mild. A mild anise uh, anisette smell so that's nice floating claws it has those little paddles on the side that that float up um, this is an eight pack so you got an eight pack two four six yep yeah, yeah eight pack eight pack of the exo zones adrenaline bug that's pretty cool four dollars and 99 cents for that uh, next, on the second Lunker Hunt product, $6.99, we have a football combo. Lunker Hunt Customs. So, okay, so we got another one of these Lunker Hunt uh, Customs. This has got a combo of a football jig and a beaver tail uh, trailer. So it's a quarter ounce weight football head jig with a three inch uh, trailer. They call this the Black Hog Grub is the trailer and obviously it's a football head jig so pull these out take a quick look all right so you got a decent football head jig all black no flash nor flare um, double wire keeper top and bottom so you got that double spiked keeper right there on the top and the bottom <clears throat> a nice football head jig it's got a <laughs> it's got a spade <laughs> from the Ace of Spades, in, uh, printed lightly in a lower grade gray, color against the black. And you have this beaver tail style grub with it. It's an offset body style. So you've got a keeled, if you can see that, it's a keeled grub. So it's oblong, round on top, but it comes down to a, to a cupped keel. And then you have this high center beaver tail. So that is pretty darn nice. So you just pop this grub on and swim that bad boy around. I'm uh, I'm gonna be interested for this. I like I like dark colored baits. Um, for me, they work clear water, cold water, dark water, warm water. It really doesn't matter to me. Um, you know, if if you can intimidate the fish enough, they're gonna strike out. And when they strike out against shapes, <clears throat> um, I mean they'll they'll strike out against shapes all the time, um, especially during the spawn when they're trying to protect. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna lash out if you can antagonize them enough. So uh, there is that. I like that. I like that bait a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna be interested in that. I I don't fish grubs nearly as much. Uh, the last couple of times I've been out, I've caught some uh, some rainbow trout, and it's always been on grubs, primarily white grubs. Um, but uh, but I'll be interested to try this. It's a nice fat profile. It's definitely gonna attract a larger fish with that larger body uh, than the typical grubs that I fish. So uh, maybe I'll catch a bass on this rather than just the, the rainbow trout uh, that I tend to, to pick up with grubs. Um, that is a $6.99. You get two of those jig heads uh, with the football head jigs, and you get five grubs? Five grubs. Yes, five trailers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next to last, we have the Great Lakes Minnow Jerk Bait. Great, Great Lakes Minnow Jerk Bait. So these are little flukes. I think there's five to a pack here. Great Lakes Lures, that's one of those lower grade, um, you know, filler filler brands that I assume it's not something that's common like Lunker Hunt or, or Yum. But, uh, you know, you got your typical, I've gotten Great Lakes Lures behind, before and they work well. They have a flare for the hook and a, uh, they have these three ribs on the back end um, that actually do a lot of water displacement and uh, add some some sound, believe it or not, as faint as these cutouts are, or these grooves are, they do add sound as the water's passing through them and whipping out the, uh, the tail. Uh, I have a feeling that it was designed that as the water comes through, it causes this tail 
to actually paddle up and down rather than just simply side to side. Um, I do like the fact that they're belly cut for your for your hook, so that's really nice. These work really well with a, a you know um, an EWG um, or even I've I've put uh, offset worm hooks on these in pinches when I ran out of fluke rig hooks <laughs> and uh, you know kind of Rube Goldberg designed it, but uh, they they work well. Uh, I have a couple of these. I have them in like a white. I have them in a green pumpkin color. Um, this one is a two-tone blue. It's like a um, sky blue and then a dark blue top. They don't typically list their colors on their packages, which I wish every manufacturer would list their, you know, come up with a color name. They 90% of them are gimmicky names anyway, but you can do it. Come up with something. Midnight Mist or whatever. You know. So that, the minnows, uh, it's a little bit, to me, of a sampler pack, but nevertheless, pretty good. You get five in there, and that is $6.99. And finally, Impact Bait's Big Daddy for $6.99. So this is, what, a worm? Premium quality, hand-inject molded, made in Canada. So we got a Canadian bait. Made in Canada, big old Canadian maple leaf on there from Impact Bait's. I think these, what are these? They look like a paddle tail worm. Oh, they're not. They are not. They are a creature bait. They are a very interesting looking creature bait. And they're a very hardy, hefty looking creature bait. They have a spoon cupped uh, claw. So it's round, convex on one side, concave on the other. That's awesome. Two antennae, oh, this one looks a little short, short, that's probably an injection issue. Definitely stink. They have a very odd odor. <laughs> yeah, that one's just a little bit of an injection tear off. This one's got equally distanced uh, antennae. Six small foot appendages, a little flashing that could have been trimmed off, but for a hand poured, a hand poured and a hand inject, injected mold that's, uh, you know, you can expect some imper imperfections. I mean, it's just the nature of the game. They do have, they have your hook cutouts too. Right there, you can see there's a slight gash in there for hook placement. So you can Texas rig this, Texpose rig this. Um, this probably would work. I like that. I like the idea of that cup because the cup is facing down. So as it's flapping, it's going to be, I would assume, you know, making this pop, 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 uh, this, this mild underwater uh, agitation and, and popping sound. They are salted a little bit, so obviously salted plastic sink. So these are a sinking, less buoyant, but it's a mild salt. It's not that hard crystal salt, but it's coming off in my hand. So um, unless that's some sort of, that's nah, salt. <laughs> I know the texture is salt. So, yeah, it's it's got an odd flame, an odd scent. I don't know what that is. I really can't tell you what that is. I would look that up if you're interested in a, in a very unique, um, in a very very unique uh, uh, soft plastic creature bait. Impact baits, the Big Daddy. That's uh, that's interesting. And if you can name whatever that smell is, if you do decide to, to hunt down Big Daddy uh, creature baits. Now they have Twitter at Impact Baits, Instagram, at Impact underscore Baits, and uh, on Facebook, obviously. Uh, or you can go to www.impactbaits.com is their, uh, is their visit ask, uh, email. So that's, that's nice. I like that. That's interesting. I'm going to be, I'm very interested to try these out. So uh, we'll see about that come very sure, shortly. So that does it for, that's the February 2020 um, Rush Tackle Box monthly subscription. That's pretty cool. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're roughly at 24 minutes, so I'm going to cut this off. I'll make another video showing the Rush Tackle Box uh, Mega Box, which is what they sent me over here. Um, they basically just threw one together um, so that I could experience what their Mega Boxes are like. So you can catch that on my next video. And as always, uh, Thank you for watching. If you like this, hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, share this content, share my videos with uh, any friends that you think would like or are interested in fishing, getting into fishing, learning about fishing. I've got 
uh, more content and more ideas coming, especially like uh, how-tos and little tricks and, and tips. Um, I can prove uh, B. Lat, Brian Latimer wrong about his theories on uh, on Z-Man products and the Elaztec products where he says you have to keep them in the bag. You don't have to keep your Z-Man products in the bag. It is one of the best ways to to maintain them, uh, especially in the clamshell packs, but I know of a bait uh, box system that never has an issue with the Z-Man soft plastics and the Plastisol softeners that they use. It doesn't deform and it doesn't cause any damage to the, to the uh, storage box. Um, but it's a one-off box. I mean, you can't just go and get a Plano. It'll melt the heck out of them. So for that, I got another video coming up. All that said, thanks again for watching. Uh, all my hookaholics out there, uh, like, subscribe, share, hit those bell notifications when I drop videos just like this out of the blue, um, and the next one that's going to come up shortly. Uh, as always, have a nice day, tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace.